unless we do a gate over here. Should do a gate somewhere at least. Is this within our range? Can we send the... Yeah, we can't send the fleet there. So... When this... All this is done surveying, we should, uh, should check this area. So we have found signs of battle. There is clear evidence that a massive space battle took place in close orbit of Sifir La at some point in the last 5,000 years. The surface on one of the moons is pockmarked with craters from stray missile blasts and scans from the defined plumage have picked up several hulks on the ground. Though these wrecks, these wrecked ships are all in very poor condition, the fact that anything remains at all after the damage they must have sustained a testament to the... Uh, okay, I'm putting pressure on the wrong part of this. The fact that anything remains at all after the damage uh, they must have sustained is a testament to their advanced designs. Science officer Quatok is preparing an expedition to shift to sift through these dialect halls for any valuable technologies. Ooh, intriguing. Mount Graveyard. Situation station. log updated. Where is that? Is that here? This is Sif here, so yes. But uh, there's no. There is no. Um, no habitable planets there, unfortunately. Do we need to destroy this guy? Maybe. He has a superior fleet strength compared to ours. That is unfortunately. No, that's not unfortunately, that is unfortunate. But we will make a stronger fleet than him at some point. Maybe not right at this moment, but after Research this Research complete. Uh, after this colony. Let's see what we can do here now. We can continue on the track of the uh, deep space station thingies. Or we can do engineering facility and get some more research. Or we can do... Um, or we can do the mass drives and projectile defense module. So I think we will uh, we will do this to uh, get some uh, ships more capable of defending against uh, against um, projectiles. That's what I'm trying to say. So these guys, what are they? What are those? Indirect democracy, xenophobic, isolationists. Huh. They're pretty much like us. But they look weird. So... Blah 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 blah. You walk the path of heresy, alien scum. So do they hate us now after we said that? Yep, new contact, xenophobic. Nice. And they are also... They are superior in everything compared to us. That is uh, because the random guards uh, screwed us here. But we will recover, unless someone kills us. At least we may uh, be more technologically advanced than they, than them at some point. And we are looking at this system now, but there is no no good habitable systems there. Oh, too bad. 
Send this back and send the construction ship up. And build a wormhole. Wormhole station there. That would give us all this to play with. That may be better than uh, than colonizing down here. Although it would be nice to get the mines from this. Maybe System survey complete. To, uh, maybe we just need to make the station. I have talked about this station for uh, for some time now. This system is fully surveyed. There's an arid world with only 11 spots, and this is an arid arctic world with 22 spots. So this would be nice to colonize at some point. System survey complete. We survey this system and. I thought we set this guy to mount the graveyard expedition. Or did we set this guy to do that? Or did we, in reality, not send anyone to do that? I think the last one is, uh, is the right thing there. Let's research this. Let's research this and see how it goes. Surveyed, surveyed. And we are still waiting for resources to build up our fleet. Can't do anything on this barren, shitty world. Barren von shitty world. Queue up some corvettes, because we can. This guy has not made any more systems. And we have now gotten got a lot more to play with up here. So where's this guy? He said you NASA. Is he surveying this? I think he is surveying this. Okay. Okay. You will survey there, 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 and there. And you will survey here, 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 here. You can survey there, but you can survey here. And let's do some overlapping. There and there. Let's also have the other guy overlap a little bit. Something like that. We are done with the wormhole station up at Janessa, up here. But we are not done surveying it, that's why it's grey. Should we... Just pop in here and have a look and go back. Yeah, let's do that. Pop in, have a look, and then go back if uh, research it's complete. Use. We are done with the administrative AI, so we will get some better research now. That's always nice. And this guy is specialist in particles, and none of this is particles, so that's that sucks. But. We should probably focus on getting better shields. Although the orbital solar panel, uh, solar panel network is very nice, but it's not super important. The shields is important, but the shields will also come up later. Uh, it's hard to uh, make a decision like that. Just gonna have to make a decision and live with it. So this is not the fight we want to take at this point. But I think we can uh, can go back before they reach us. 
bye bye now, aliens. Let's, um, let's while we are at it, let's pop in and check this system. So the other one was 185. This is a bit easier. 153 overall. Let's go back. So two or three more ships, then we can at least take on this. We will probably lose uh, lose ships if we do that. Construction with only two complete. Or three more ships. So we should probably um, do more than that. I like to overwhelm the enemy. There's no such a thing as a, as a fair fight. Owl. Corvette. So with another Corvette we will be about 130. Special project complete. And we are done with the graveyard expedition. The team under scientist officer Quatok has finished the expedition on Sephir uh, Illa and returned to the fine plumage. Sadly, the wreckage, the wrecked starships on the surface were too badly damaged to cover to recover any useful technologies. These vessels were clearly very advanced, however, we could gain valuable engineering insight if we analyzed the way they were designed. We should consider the construction of a permanent science output outpost in this orbit. So we can now get a we can now do a science outpost in this area and uh, we will gain some significant engineering research from that, so that's pretty cool. So now the question is if we should do the um, if we should do the uh, what's it called outpost? If we should do the outpost in this system instead. That uh, may be the way to go, and this scientist has leveled up, congratulations, man! You're getting more research speed, huh? Pretty, pretty funny, because he's not really going to be doing research, he's just... Uh, uh, I don't really know if, that, if the research speed helps when he flies around and does the... Um, does the analytics... What should you call Construction it? complete. When he surveys the systems and all that, I don't think the research is completed. Evading Sadly. hostile fleet. Okay, we have encountered some aliens in the Medca system. We call them the Theta Menace at this point because we don't know anything about them. And this all it's already going back, and they have 130 power. Okay, we need to do more ships, more corvettes, and we need to settle this. Settle it like men. No, I mean just, just settle. And why is this? Ah, uh, it's evading hostiles. Oh no! No, don't go to those systems. Go here. Uh, no, go here and. Here and here and here and here and here and here. Okay. Go there. But we should get rid of the guys in Medkarish. But doesn't seem like there's any uh, any livable area there. So, so, so. Construction complete. What do we do? This guy's just uh, standing here. Do 
doing nothing and costing a lot of a lot of energy credits. Research complete. Let's gather the fleet. Do we have all the fleet down here? We do. We can merge these guys. Then we have 162 power. And can we do another ship? Another ship? Spaceport, we don't really have the resources for it that we have now. And we just finished doing the noxious swamp removal. What else can we do? We can do volcano removal and we can also do frontier clinic, we can also do biolab. I think we will just do the volcano removal. Do we have any, any volcanoes at this point? Let's check the surface here. We have one there. But we can now remove these. That's that's gonna be pretty mm -hmm. handy. It's pretty expensive to do it, but uh, it will it will be mm -hmm. worth it in the end. Up here, not a lot is happening, and we are pretty much blocked off from this down here. It will be very nice when we get the uh, get the improved range of the gates. The system survey complete. The Anomaly gates, found. Uh, upgrade, because then we will not be as boxed as we are now. And now one of our scientists is gonna do. Just gonna research the anomaly instead of doing the surveys of the systems. So that will also set us back a little bit. Construction complete. Should we just go ahead and uh, if we have uh, done this now? Just gonna do this. Just to um, just to see if there's any livable areas. We, do, we are not really interested at this point to see what's on the what's on the planets, other than if they can sustain the owl people. So what do we do here? Let's check the summary. We still have a food surplus. How much does one owl eat? I think they eat one. So we need to clear this and also some of the others, but let's do this first. And maybe move this guy down there. And this guy is, this is a population that's growing, they are not quite settled yet. Hostiles present. Should we take the fight? Not at this point. Maybe once we are done serving this and we will also have some more ships at that point. But about Construction complete. That is good to know. Construction complete, what did we... Oh, oh, we are already done doing this. Very good. You will go down there. That means we have a bigger surplus of food. So, a population is... How much do they eat? We are producing 13.9. So... When this guy is done growing. Let's see how the food looks. And what kind of research? We need more of the uh, blue stuff. What's the blue stuff called? It's called physics. That's what it is. 
To me, they didn't really need to uh, put names on these. They could just be blue science, green science, and yellow science. What did we find here? We found more alien menaces and continental world. <sighs> Should we just settle this? this it's still a lot of glaciers. Possibly two mines, but they are behind the glaciers. But we can do a mine on this, oops, this bit here. But is that enough? And we can do some good science here, maybe. Okay, screw it. We're settling here after all. Construction complete. And we are also losing energy credits now, so we need to uh, get this guy in motion. And the best position so far will be here, because then we can, when we are done removing the massive glaciers and the noxious swamp, we can get some stuff there. What should we call it? Romanox Prime? Sure. No! We have a possibility to... Oh, we have two Tundra Worlds up there. Very nice. And they are big. Okay. But I guess we should just settle this and uh, make some more colonies to send up there. That's very nice, we can squeeze two colonies in on that area. But still, we should just... Uh, ...do more covets. Alien Situation log updated. More aliens. They are way too tough for us at this point. So, we got a gas giant signal. The defiant plumage has picked up on some curious reading from Yanessa V. There are significant pockets of radiation in the gas giant's atmosphere that appear to be the result of intense orbital bombardment. What someone would hope to gain by bombarding a gas giant from orbit remains a mystery, however. As the defined plumage was preparing to break orbit, science officer discovered a weak signal coming from the planet's interior. Maybe a transmission of some kind, but the gas giant background radiation makes it difficult to isolate. So we can either ignore it and say it's a malfunction, or we can investigate. Situation log updated. I vote we investigate. Track on the map. That is where it is. So you, you will go research a product, a uh, project, not product. Yeah, sure. Research some some products and then give me a, a review about them. So, research complete. Done with the mass drive and should we do some armor? No. Should we do some frosters? No. I think we should do the missiles. Fire the missiles! Send this up there, sure, why not? Hostile fleet there, coming to attack. But we are gone, bye bye. System survey complete. Construction complete. We are done surveying up there. 
Nothing interesting out here. So... Gonna have a gap here. That's not really uh, what we want to have. Uh, to have isolated systems out here. There's some arid worlds here, not very big. Some oh, very big arid world here. This could possibly be uh, be a good area for um, for colony. We just need the research to become available to us. And we have a balance deficit, we know that. That's why we're doing the colony. And our mineral income has decreased because we are paying for ship maintenance. That is annoying. These guys are... Special project How complete. How do you do that? Just fly through our stuff like this. Okay, so we are... Talking to the people in the gas giant. Finally, well met, spacefarers. We are the Daphnak, and the planet you are orbiting is Tolok Rong, our ancestral home. It's always riveting to meet a solid, even to meet a solid. Just thinking about uh, about shit all of a sudden. Uh, even if our last encounter with your kind was somewhat problematic. You have no doubt detecting the radiation surge is coming from our atmosphere. Tolok Rong is dying and our species will perish unless we find a new home. We have identified a planet that would suit our physiology, but we have no means to get there. Sadly, our non-corporeal nature means we don't have much in the way of industry or technology. Will you help us? Interesting, so we have some options here. If you have no technology, how are we speaking? What happened to your planet? You want us to transport your entire species to another planet. We will help you relocate. Sorry, it would be too much of a hassle. <laughs> the people are dying and we can just say, well, sorry, it would be too much of a hassle. Well, okay, let's um, let's ask how they can talk. But you are not the first solid to pay us a visit. Another spacefarer graciously donated a small subspace transmitter and a scanner array to us. Two million point nine million solar cycles ago. They had been designed to be compatible with our physiology. One of the more positive encounters we've had with your kind. Uh, okay, let's ask what happened to the planet. Well, the last solids visited us a few thousand cycles ago. Things didn't go very well. They wanted us to embrace their religion. We refused and this triggered some kind of genocide. Cytical reaction completely unwanted before we knew what was happening. They maneuvered their fleet in orbit and unleashed a massive bombardment. So if we say that they want us to transport all of them, they say yes, hopefully soon, don't worry. There aren't too many of us, most of Dathnak died when our planet was bombarded. Those who survived retreated deeper into the atmosphere. Communication with the surface is difficult here and the radiation is spreading. We don't have much time. So, um, what to do here? I don't know, but uh, 
guess we will find out in the next episode.